The news is hard to listen to and even harder to watch. So much suffering, and especially amongst the young and innocent. Last week while driving, I heard on the radio the news about two elderly female hostages being released from Gaza, and they were faced with talking to the press about their experience. The reporter also described the moment of release and how one hostage turned to shake hands and offer the word shalom to the masked captor. As with so much of the reporting during such times, it's not easy to know what the truth is. But the way this story was told caught my attention. A moment of humanity in a sea of chaos. And I was keen to find the image on the internet. In using the word shalom, she might have just meant goodbye, wishing her captor well. To us, this word is so much more than peace and the absence of conflict and war. It's traditionally rooted in wholeness and completeness, and we surely don't achieve wholeness by simply not fighting with those who are different from us. We find shalom when we find the good in one another, when we figure out how to work together for the good of humanity. Digging deeper into the story last week, it appears this elderly hostage and her husband are veteran peace and human rights activists who used to ferry sick Palestinians from Gaza to medical treatment in Israel, according to the family. Each of us can try to build bridges between people, between heaven and earth, and between opposing forces in the world. Whether it's global peace, peace in our homes, or inner peace, we must always strive to put our trust in God and work together with others to bring godliness and shalom into this world. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look, turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen.